Hey everybody, it's Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and I was all set to bring you a full review today of the Mila CM6 or 6360 uh, super automatic espresso machine. I was going to take a look at what this premium espresso machine could do, how it works, and what the coffee is like. But the machine had other ideas. This machine, which is supposed to brew coffee, espresso, and milk-based espresso beverages like cappuccinos and lattes, is one of the most expensive I've ever purchased to review. Costing about 2,200 US dollars, let's just say the expectations are high that something so pricey will deliver on the best coffee drinks I've ever had. This was just delivered yesterday, and when I went to get it set up this morning, I got what you could call a fatal error? I was following the instructions on the machine, which asks you to get connected to the Miele Home app. Now the app is supposed to give you remote control over your device from your smartphone. The app will ask you to make a few selections inside the app and then press a sequence of buttons on the espresso machine itself. Unfortunately, following those instructions precisely, results in the selection of a descaling process. And normally that's a routine cleaning process that shouldn't be an issue. And normally I would think this wouldn't be a problem since the machine is brand new, it doesn't really need descaling. I thought I'll just exit out of this process. Turns out though, I was not able to get out of that process. Again, I thought no problem, I'll just run the descaling process through and then when I come out the other side, I'll just go ahead and finish the setup. Except there was no finishing the descaling process. After the first run through, which takes a full 10 or 12 minutes, the message on the display read, repeat descaling process. A little annoyed, I repeated the descaling process. After about the fourth or fifth time it asked me to do this, I realized we have a pretty significant problem. Searching online, I actually found many Amazon reviewers saying they were experiencing this exact same situation. That while trying to set the machine up or when they actually needed to run the descaling process, the machine here would put itself into what you could call an infinite loop. Again, I figured, no problem. I'm a technology blogger and I can probably figure this out. Except I couldn't. There seemed to be absolutely no way to reset the machine. Pulling the plug, trying to kill the power did absolutely nothing to abort this sequence. I was pretty perplexed and puzzled. But one last time I thought, I can resolve this with a quick call to Mila customer service. Except that was a no-go also. Although my call was answered quickly and I received help from a very nice woman, the answer was that Mila Customer Service has absolutely no way to help you get out of this infinite loop. Yes, I don't know. It seemed like it's stuck in the descaling loop. So that is a technical issue, but there's, there's no closure reason that I have to get it out of descaling. The customer service agent gave me two options bring the machine myself to the nearest authorized service repair person or return it where I bought it. Those are my only two options. So here I am over $2,000 invested into this machine and less than 24 hours of ownership. And the machine is essentially a complete lemon. My mind is actually blown at how poorly this machine is programmed and how little Mila can actually do to help any customer resolve this rather common issue. Now, spending a month's rent on an espresso maker should at least warrant you some type of in-home service call, but I'd settle for a machine that actually works as advertised. So this machine is going back and a big high five, by the way, to Amazon, who is taking it back with no questions asked. Now, this is where I have a question for you guys. Should I order another version of this machine and see if I have a better or different experience? Or should Mila be burned in my books forever? If you have questions about this machine or you've had similar experiences, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I'd also like to hear if you've had an amazing experience with this machine and I'd love to know if you've been successfully able to descale the machine, if everything has been going well for you so far. Perhaps this is just one lemon, but based on the large volume of online reviewers complaining about the same fatal error, it seems like this product is 
a dud that quite frankly shouldn't be on the consumer market. Selling for over $2,200, I can absolutely not recommend this product for anyone right now. And even if my next experience might be a bit better, I'm still pretty hesitant to recommend the Miele brand right now. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this espresso maker. You can also post them, of course, here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.